Ah, the almighty Barnes & Noble. All right, well, we have finally made it to Barnes & Noble. Criterion is doing their sales. Arrow is doing their sales. Uh, we came here on Tuesday and struck out. We thought that it happened on November 1st, but apparently not. It's November 4th now, uh, but unfortunately, there's not going to be any Swap Meet Sunday video. So as you guys are watching this right now, I'm going to be at Disneyland. So let's go into uh, Barnes & Noble and see what kind of stuff they got today. All right, we're working our way into uh, Barnes & Noble. Don't really come here unless they do a sale. So let's go in there and see what kind of stuff they got. Movies and music. Let's go check them out. Arsenic and Old Lace. This is one I've been looking at. Kind of curious on this one. I can't believe how expensive this Blu-ray is. $50 for a Blu-ray. I gave this one a Pot X too. Hope you enjoy it, man. La La Lorna. This is one I've been wanting to pick up as well. So we got the Irishman here. Um, 209 minutes. I've been hearing a lot of good things about this movie, but do I want to pick it up today? Hmm. Not Criterion, but we got the Steelbook for Mean Girls. That's cool. Here's also another one I've been looking at. It's a Cure. The Before Trilogy. 100 bucks. Make it 50 bucks. Hmm. Just recently found this at a swap meet for like 5 bucks. Room with a View. Actually a really good, decent movie. Bought this one last sale and um, really made me wonder what Okja really tasted like because people were really going crazy for that meat. It makes you wonder. This is another one I've been thinking about. Coen Brothers, Miller's Crossing. Here it's a pretty good movie. Just picked up Blood Simple. I actually had a friend give me Blood Simple and uh, he's the one that got me this itch for Criterion. This is a really good movie. I suggest you guys watch this one. But I think it's only a one-time watch. But a great movie. So we got a decent stack right now, so far. Uh, I might have to put one of these back, I'm not sure yet. Kinda tight on money right now. Brian Del Palma film, Sisters. I hear this one's actually pretty crazy from what I've heard. Um, considering it. Looks like we got Army of Darkness. We got a Fog Steel book here. Fright Night. The Lost Boys. Yeah, it's the only one I've got. Okay. I'm kind of All right. Just got out of Barnes and Noble, and boy, oh boy, did I spend some money. Let's get home. I know this is only my first trip. I'll probably have maybe about four more of these in the in the month of November, but uh, because there's still a lot of stuff I want to pick up. But this is one video that is now over. Let's get home, and I'll show you guys what I picked up. All right, guys, just got home, picked up a lot of uh, Criterions here. Um, my first trip to Barnes & Noble was a, uh, a success. We spent a decent amount of money. I'm not going to say how much we spent, but uh, looks like I got a dollar off any Starbucks handcrafted beverage, though, so that's kind of cool. Um, but, yeah, we spent... Over a hundred and fifty dollars, um, but it's worth it because we got three, four, four Ks, and then three Blu-rays. So let's just get into it. Uh, the first one up here, I'm kind of curious about. It might be just the way it looks, might be the way it's designed, but <clears throat> we got My Private I Idaho here uh, with Keanu Reeves and River Phoenix. Um, this is one I've been wanting to watch. But I'm kind of curious. We got a little bit of damage down there on the bottom. Uh, it might just be the way it is, the, the way it's, you know, made. Because we got some damage right there, too. But I think that's how it's supposed to look. So let me know before I open it about that corner right there. 
But yeah, we have My Private Idaho. That's our first Blu-ray. Second Blu-ray, this one just came out. Uh, this one came out on my daughter's birthday. Uh, this one's from 1997. Uh, spine number 1155. And it is a movie called Cure. I'm really looking forward to watching this one. Uh, Japanese with English subtitles right there. But yeah, The Cure or Cure. Uh, I've heard a lot about this one, so I'm looking forward to checking this one out. A lot of my movies, a lot of my criterions are blind buys, but I'm not really disappointed in them because I'm always, whenever I buy a criterion, <clears throat> it could be from the swap meet, could be from a used seller or somewhere. I'm always enjoying the movie, so I've never been let down with a criterion yet. So that's one thing uh, I kind of just go in blind sometimes. But, I mean, they're all on sale anyway. I mean, <clears throat> this one was 40 bucks, So half off of that, obviously, is 20 So, I mean, $20 for a Criterion, you can't really go wrong with that. So, next one up here. This one also came out on the 18th, I believe. And this one is from 2019. 96 minutes, which is really short. Uh, Spanish, and that is La La Lorna. I always have a hard time saying that. But yeah, I mean, another one for 20 bucks. You can't go wrong with this. I'm um, looking forward to watching this one with my wife, actually, because, you know, she is Hispanic. And, uh, you know, those folktales, man, they, they, they love their folktales. <laughs> but uh, let's see, who is this one directed? Jaro Bust Bustamante? I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong, but it is a director-approved Blu-ray, so that's cool. Always love when I get those director approved Blu rays. Uh, next up here, we have a movie that I picked up last time when I was at uh, Barnes and Noble, but I put it back because I knew that there was a 4K coming out for it. And I didn't want to double dip, uh, especially for Criterion. So I decided to hold out, wait for the next sale to come around. And this one is from 1981, 108 minutes. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I forgot to read you guys the the um the side on this one. This one's 11:56, so right after this one, the Cure, and then we got La La Lorna for 11:56. Uh, but yeah, this one is from uh, a 4K upgrade, and this is uh, spine number 562, John Travolta in Blowout. Uh, this is one I've actually been really looking forward to watching. I heard that John Travolta really stands out in this movie. And uh, it's just a movie that I've had my eye on for a very long time. And I'm happy to finally own it. <laughs> I did not pay $50 for it. Paid half off, $25. Bucks. Can't go wrong with that. Uh, next up, we have one that came out 10-4-2022. Wish I got this during Halloween time, but that's okay. George A. Romero... Not director approved, obviously, because he's not here no more. Um, spine number 909 from 1968, 96 minutes, Night of the Living Dead, 4K. Uh, I love when they put these stickers on top of this one. Just ruin the sticker for me. I can't save it now. Um, yeah. Barnes & Noble, what are you doing with your stickers, man? Don't put it over the 4K, man. That's how I, that's how I know when I have a 4K. I just take that sticker off. Put it underneath. Call it a day. That's how I know I have a 4K. Uh, next up, this is one I own on Canadian. A Canadian release, I think. And this is David Lynch's Lost Highway on 4K. Uh, this is one I have actually seen before. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I read the spine number? I think, yeah, 909. I already read it. Sorry, guys. Uh, this is spine number 1152, Lost Highway. Uh, this is one that... You know, David Lynch is very, uh, how do I say it? You either like the guy or you don't like him. Uh, you either like his movie or you don't like his movies. Um, <laughs> but this is one of those, just like Maholan Drive. Uh, seems like he always gets to digital packs, so, which I've noticed. Uh, this one's from 1997, 134 minutes, 4K Blu-ray. And guys, we picked up an Arrow title. This is my first Arrow title from Barnes & Noble. Uh, I'm actually really excited to pick this one up. This is one I had my eye on as well. 
$50 for a 4K? You know I ain't paying that. But they're also having their sale as well. And it is Flatliners. Uh, with the slipcover. Um, I believe this came in a hard box. I'm not sure, but I'm okay with this uh, slipcover. Uh, you know, Arrow, they have some pretty thick boxes. On, <laughs> it takes up a lot of room. But yeah, we got Flatliners right there. One I'm actually really excited to watch. I have never seen that movie. So, uh, should be a fun watch. But yeah, guys, that's what I picked up for my first, or my first, uh, round of November right here. We got, let's see, we got My Private, My Own Private Idaho, Cure, La La Lorna, Blowout, Night of the Living Dead, Lost Highway, and Flatliners right there. I hope you guys enjoyed. We will be going back to Barnes & Noble. We might hit up a different one, you know, change it up a little bit. But that's it for now, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out of here. Peace.